Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is not often that we have the whole entire promo team coming this Friday and Ultimate Team leaked to us already at this stage of the week, but we do. We know all the heroes and the icons that are coming this Friday and Ultimate Team, and it's making prices crash on the market. A whole lot of cards are down, some of them even over a million coins per card, because some of these Path to Glories and Make Your Mark cards are not getting upgrades after yesterday's games, and people don't want to hold on to them with what is coming. So I want to talk about that in today's video. We have to discuss especially where those prices are going to be headed, and content today may be giving us our actual best chance of packing these make your mark cards which seem virtually impossible to pack so we're going to talk about that in a lot more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's go to the sbc section first and talk about yesterday's content there were two sbcs the first of which the upgrade pack gamble tuesdays as we often call it right we had a great 92 plus pack last week yesterday they dropped us a 92 plus pick and they really jacked up the price in this SBC guys I get it it's a player pick it has the path to glories and the make your marks in this team one and team two I believe were packable from it but man 87 and 88 rated squad when last week it was an 84 and an 85 and that pack included the icons this does not feel like it's that great of value especially with the pack weight for a 200,000 coin upgrade pack you would expect that the pack weight would be a lot better than it was. I did this yesterday. I got Charles de Catalera, which technically isn't bad. He's like a 200,000 coin card. This is a 200,000 coin SBC. But it just seemed like the weight as we opened them on stream yesterday, as we opened some, wasn't that good. Again, complete opposite of last week, where the 92 plus pack was like 60k, and the weight was really decent. You got a lot of two to three to 400,000 coin PTG cards. Those were the most common uh, pack pulls from that last week. And the most common pulls from this player pick are the Make Your Mark cards that are like 50k or 60k. So that's a little bit underwhelming, of course, because it felt like there was some hype there. Especially when I saw this drop yesterday, I was like, oh shoot, this could be good and it really was not that good now of course it's a gamble pack so what happens fodder goes up 87s 88s are on the rise i think today is a day where those could go up a little bit more because we do have the refresh of another very popular sbc so if you have that fodder invested in maybe you sell it today could be a good opportunity to do that one quick note on fodder i wanted to mention if any of you guys are buying 89s to put into the exchange because you're just funding player picks and crafting at all because that is actually a, the better way to get player picks done is to buy the high rated for the exchange because it's cheaper than just buying the golds off the market buy 91 rated instead of 89s 89s are like twenty thousand coins 21k 91s are like 18 to 19k on snipes you can save yourself a couple thousand coins and that just i mean gives you more coins in the long run and it's cheaper so it's a w that's one thing i wanted to mention i bought yesterday a couple of 91 rated just to go ahead and, and do some of the 90 or 89 exchanges and get those players back to open those packs and to go do the player picks of course as i just did right now before the video do your daily gold upgrades as well that'll help you get player pick fodder ready and raring to go so that you can continue to craft but just wanted to throw that in there because i know a lot of us are grinding on the menus at the moment crafting sbcs and maybe an upgrade pack that might be coming today as well now speaking of the player sbc again we have one basically every single day yesterday's was also kind of mid luis sinistera the colombian left wing left mid who i just checked and he didn't even play in colombia's group stage game two days ago so it's not looking good maybe for his upgrades again he has to see the pitch he has to score or assist for colombia Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's kind of like a budget worse version of Luis Diaz of that SBC that was out a while ago. This one's really just kind of mid and not that hype. I mean, if you're a Colombian, sure, you're getting it done. If you're a Premier League fan, maybe you're getting it done as well. I'm sure he's decent in game, but that SBC just doesn't hit like some of the other ones have. But it's at least a piece of content there that some people will enjoy for sure. Now, let's take a look at Evolutions because we had an Evo yesterday that I'm going to also say is kind of mid. I like the silver Evos. I do. But some of them, especially when they're 100,000 coins or 250 FC points, but really 100,000 coins to complete. I don't know. Yeah, four playstyle pluses is neat. But with the, that combination of playstyle pluses, Aerial Bruiser, Power Shot, and Relentless, what kind of player does that fit? Maybe a midfielder? Maybe a center back? If you're going to rip a Power Shot of your center back? I don't know. But this... Evo, I mean, it's nice because it's not that many games and you do get a really nice upgrade and you do get some other really good play styles as well. Um, just here's an example, Ben Take It, right? Like it takes up, you get some plus really big boost, like 95 shooting. It was a 91 physical. Um, you do get uh, the incisive 
finesse, dead ball, and I think power header it gives you as well. So you can create a decent card. Maybe it is more of like a striker type of Evo as well. There's a bunch of silver cards. This is what I would tell you. Every time a silver Evo like this drops, check your freaking club because there are a lot of silver cards that are max price right now or darn near max price very expensive because of this evo and especially for some of those players that are the big names right real madrid this marvel guy right now um i don't even know what his bronze card is ah see you can't even do that evo that was that one doesn't even count so just be careful but Bissek, his silver card is like ten thousand coins max this chrysan card if you can get your hands on this chrysan this is actually a nutty card. Five star, five star with 97 pace, 95 passing, 96 physical with those play style pluses. Um, he's six foot three as well. And I think he has power header. Oh, he does not have power header. Just kidding. Um, but that's a really nice card. If you want somebody to hit power shots and I guess, uh, you know, slam dunk headers as well, that could be a guy for you. This Fellaini card was honestly cracking me up yesterday when I was looking through some of the cards that fit from this Evo. 51 pace, but the rest of the card is cracked. And he's, of course, uh, six foot four and he can play striker. That one just looks like fun. Uh, with 45 agility as well. I just literally laugh when I see that card. But there's some really good ones in here, like Boniface, um, Nets, Totti. There's a bunch of silver cards that are like crazy, crazy high in price. So if there's somebody from your favorite national team, um, actually, maybe the Sar card would sell for a little bit. I mean, that one doesn't look that great, though. 83 pace only, not the best. Just check your club. But if there's somebody that you like in your club or from your favorite nation or where you live that fits this Evo that you want to do, I'd say go ahead and do it for a fun card. It is four playstyle pluses, and it does give a decent amount of playstyles, but 100,000 coins and just boosting up silver cards is fun, but it's never like the most meta. So again, I keep using that word fun. That's the word I fall back to with Evos like that. I don't hate them. I don't think they're the best in the game. I also love evolving up cards that I've evolved up previously that are like 85, 6, 7, or 88 rated. Like, I feel like I'm waiting for more Evos of that variety than just taking a silver card to like something that's usable in meta in this start stage of the game. So, I don't know. I know a lot of people love those Evos though, and they definitely are fun, 100%. But that was that content yesterday. Let's talk, take a look at the latest upgrades. Um, there was four cards upgraded from yesterday's Honestly, the first half of the day was crazy with the games, right? Like the, the Netherlands game was nuts. Austria winning that game. Um, and then the France game was decent as well with Poland. But then, of course, the second later set of games, both ending nil-nil, was a little bit of a snooze fest. But we do have these upgrades here. Petit gets a plus one. Kuman got slide tackle plus added to his card. And he also finally got a price range update. Yesterday was a day where prices finally got updated for some of these cards that have not been on the market for a really freaking long time. Like this Kuman, I think it was over a week that Kuman was not on the market. He got a price range update yesterday, and now that he has gotten the fourth playstyle plus, which was slide tackle again, I think his price is actually dipping a little bit because people see that and they're like, ah, slide tackle plus. If it would have been intercept plus, that would have been crazy, uh, but they didn't go ahead and do that. Of course, he still has aerial first touch, whatever, and aerial plus, sorry, um, anticipate aerial and first touch plus. So still a good card, but no more upgrades for Kuman. So that kind of hurts the hype a little bit for a card like him. And then, of course, for both of these cards, right, the prices have dipped. Emmanuel Petit, uh, only with a plus one. How much is he right now? Oh my goodness. I sold him yesterday before the match at 610,000 coins. Guys, the tale of the tape, the best information that I can tell you right now, and it's more true than ever, is sell in the freaking hype, man. Petit was 610. I bought this card for 555, sold it for 610, and now he's down to 450K, right? And that is just one example of so many cards that that exact same situation is happening to on the market. Now, the other upgrades, Trent Alexander-Arnold, he saw the pitch yesterday, got subbed on, and of course, since it was a nil-nil draw, he did get the plus one upgrade for the clean sheet, so his price is up a little bit. He was like 600K, now he's right around 700,000. Um, I didn't see his overall boost. Boost. Let's check this out really quick and see what he got. He got plus ones everywhere. Whoa, plus two physical uh, from plus two jumping, plus three strength, and plus two aggression. That's actually a solid boost uh, for Trent. Really solid there. GG's EA. That's a good one. So he was kind of one of the only stat upgrades yesterday, I guess, one other besides Petit, but um, there was his upgrade yesterday. We also had the Cole Palmer getting a chemistry boost because he finally got subbed on. And from the late night games of Copa America, of course, Argentina scored late for a 1-0 victory and Canada scored 1-0 against Peru. So two 1-0 games there. I think Jonathan David is the one who scored the goal for Canada. That's his first contribution. So he's 
half of the way there for getting a stat boost, which is nice. But since Argentina just got the win, nobody's going to get upgraded from the Argentinian game. Crespo needs one more goal to get an upgrade. And of course, um, it was Lautaro Martinez who scored the goal with no assists. So nothing for McAllister, nothing for Garnacho there either. Actually, I don't even know if Garnacho played. I have to go back and check. Garnacho could get a chemistry boost because he hasn't played yet. That's the only thing that may be in question. But Alfonso Davies is going to get a plus one because that is Canada's uh, first win and he's a live PTG card. It's it's kind of, it's getting confusing with all these cards that are out. You know, yesterday, the example that I'm thinking of, I tweeted about it. You guys maybe saw that tweet, right? Um, the fact that Sabitzer, as Austria won the game, Sabitzer, that's their second win. He is not due any upgrades, right? Sabitzer went from 480,000 coins or 500K. He went all the way to 700,000 coins. He went absolutely to the moon. Now, he's coming back up a little bit, but he didn't even get any upgrades yesterday, right? Because that was their second win. They still need one more win for him to get that fourth play style plus, which I don't know who Austria is going to match up against, but I might be rooting for them because I have this card. And this would be absolutely insane if this card right here gets a fourth play style plus because he's already so crazy but that is the one thing i wanted to kind of mention to you guys because a lot of the prices have been moving up and down because people are like oh my goodness they did good this team did good well I think that's also why some of the prices are going down because a lot of these teams lost or drew yesterday, um, kind of like the, Fran the French cards, right? Saliba is down a bunch. He's under 2 million coins again because they drew the game. So it's, again, not progressing him towards his third win for the plus one play style. Same thing with the English cards. Kyle Walker is down bad. And that goes hand in hand. Like it's kind of a double whammy right now with these cards dropping as much as they are. You have these... Uh, nations that are not performing as well as they need to be for the cards in the game to get upgrades, right? They need to be progressing towards the upgrades to keep the cards prices high so that people are expecting the upgrades and it's like, you know, actually feeling like they could get upgrades. And on the other hand, you have all of these leaks of cards that are coming out, which are making prices drop because of people getting worried and, and panicking for what is coming as well. So that's kind of the situation. We'll get into the market stuff here more in a second. But again, selling the hype. As we look at today's games, it is the last day. This is kind of like a, a sad moment, right? Last day of games for the group stages for the Euros. Uh, we've got the last couple of games here today. We've got Skriniar. Slovakia, Romania, Ukraine, Belgium, and then Czech Republic, Turkey, and Georgia, Portugal. So again, four good games today. Hopefully we see some goals and there's going to be a lot of calculations by the end of the day as well as to who gets in into the, the knockout rounds as a third place team. Again, a lot of people hoping for like Hungary to get in. It's not looking good for him and for them in Soboslai. But again, if you have any of these cards, sell them in the hype, please, because some of these are still very, very expensive. Um, and you know, like Lukaku still almost a million coins, even if Belgium win today, right? They're on three points. That'd be their second win. Probably going to drop off in price. So please, please, please sell these in the hype because most of them most likely are going to drop down unless there's a surprise situation where an underdog comes and wins and maybe earns an upgrade or something like that, or a player specifically from a make your mark team. Like let's say Mudrick would score a goal or two today. Um, I don't even, I think he scored or assisted one, right? He didn't. Let's say he scores two goals or something, right? then there's going to be hype for him because he's going to go up to a 96. But again, that all just kind of depends on the individual performance. But please, please, please tell on the hype because um, the cards are going to drop. Now, I would say as well, some of these, these are also some of the most hype cards in the game, right? Frankie De Jong's 1.3 mil. He was 2.1 yesterday. That's crazy, right? Uh, we look at the Kyle Walker card we just mentioned, 1.2 mil. Now he's 800K. You got Konate even from Make Your Mark. He was 1.5 and now he's a million. Guys, selling in the hype is the key. But some of these cards, even inside of this market crash kind of panic situation that we are in, some of them are going to rebound 100 percent because these are still the best live cards in the game right now like Bukayo Saka was three mil now he's 2.1 that is mad this is still one of the best cards in the game and it's live I know England don't look great but we're in the knockout rounds now hopefully some things change for them because I think all of us would enjoy seeing seeing England play some of the football that we believe that they can play right I know there's a lot of frustration around that and I'm with it right because I did the Joe Gomez expecting them to kind of do well in this tournament so far and it's a little bit of a bummer now one thing with some of these teams just thought about this off the top of the dome think about England right only won one game in the group stages and they're moving on right to the um, knockout rounds 
in that round of 16 game, if they win, that's their second win. If they were to win the quarterfinal, the game after that, there would be a double boost in store for Saka. He would get that fourth play style plus and a plus one overall and go to a 98. So with some of these teams that have been drawing, like France as well, in the groups, there's potential for like multiple upgrades to hit at once with that three win, but also win in the quarterfinal sort of situation happening. That could be crazy for some of the price boost, but that's probably like a week away or maybe even two weeks away as we get into these games and the knockout rounds. But that's just something I wanted to mention. As these cards get panic sold, these are the ones to watch. These are the ones that I've been trading with the most. I know nobody wants to buy them right now with all these leaks, but keep it on PTGs because they will be the best to trade with. Now we're talking about teams losing, winning, upgrades, all that, yada, yada. The big news transitioning into talking about the leaks guys is the fact that we have all these crazy cards yesterday we saw the tweet right that said 35 different icons and or heroes were coming out we talked about saving packs well i only added one pack to my save stash i got some rewards to get from rivals and get those games done today i've got some other objective packs to claim and more 84 times 10s to stash up because looking at this team of leaked icons it looks crazy. And that's, again, also why prices are dropping because people are like, hold on a second. Let me sell some of these cards because of what is dropping. Guys, almost every big icon in the game, especially the only the ones that are Euros and Copa, but it's almost every big icon in the game is getting a card. Hullet, Charlton, Zidane, Dino, Cruyff, Ronaldo, R9, Muller. I said Ronaldo twice. Carlos, Zico, Desai, even some of the cards down here like Del Piero, Javi, Vieira, Canavaro's getting a card. I want to see how these cards look. And this really, truly now is giving me Golasso type vibes. These are going to be the only cards in packs, guys. These are all of the players. These are not official cards or official ratings as the leaks always work, but these are all of the players that are going to be in this greats of the game team two, I guess is what they're going to call it, right? Remember that pack code, the icon player pick that says team one. Here's the heroes that have been leaked. A lot smaller list here. Very heavy on the icons. Only a few heroes. Tevez, Cordoba, Carvalho, McManaman, Kessler, Marquisio, Francesco, Lee Costa, and Campos. Uh, so, I mean, Tevez, Cordoba, those are going to be crazy cards. Marquisio as well, even though Italy have not looked that great. Uh, you know, he's getting a live card too. There's so many insane players in this. It's just mad. Now, wait till we get to the SBC and objective list as well. Scrolling up through the leaks here. These are all the players that are supposed to come as SBCs or objectives. And guys, these leaks are so early. Like this was released yesterday, middle of the day on a Tuesday. We're talking about it here on a Wednesday. We still got to wait two days for these cards, right? We got to wait today and tomorrow. And then finally Friday they come. Cafu and Rooney are definitely the biggest names when it comes to this upcoming promo for potential SBCs. And a lot of people looked at this list of players and they were like, hmm, it's just missing like one big time player name, right? Rooney's big, Cafu's big. Those are going to be SBCs completed probably by a lot of people. Even Casillas is nice, but like I think a lot of people were maybe hoping for like that Figo to be replaced with Eusebio, and I totally understand that. We just got to wait and see what the stats are on the cards that get released. That's going to be a big factor in these cards as well. And of course, it goes without saying, the pack weight, right? I mean, with this many icons in packs, I mean, Trezeguet, probably going to be one of the lower-rated cards. You know, they show Rijkaard and Zambrata's lower-rated ones here, and Hugo Sanchez as well. Who knows, really, right? But there's going to be some that are lower-rated that are going to have a higher pack weight, and that's why it gives me the Golazo promo-type vibes where those icons were semi-packable. I think it's going to be the same thing here. So with all of this and market prices dropping, like here's a good example of a, of a card price yesterday, unrelated to any sort of live promo, which would have other, you know, factors making his card go down in price. This is just pure panic selling based off of the leaks. Vinny Jr. Don't tell me Sinistera dropped this card's price yesterday. Yeah, no shot, right? 2.1 million coins down to 1.79. Back up just a smidge. That is pure panic selling and price dropping based off of the leaks. I was looking through some of the Ultimate Tots team. VVD is down as well. Um, Jude Bellingham is down a lot, right? Uh, what was he? He was 2.7 million coins yesterday, all the way down to 2.1 where he is now. Down like crazy, right? And that's, again, just because of the pure panic. A lot of the icons that were leaked as well, like Hullet, 
Hulk's foot birthday icon card, I think went from 4.2 mil down to like 3.2 mil. So some crazy drops in that sort of uh, the realm as well as even some of the other cheaper cards. Like I think Vieira's team of the year card was dropping. Some of these icons that aren't as expensive that have other previous versions, people see that a new one is coming and they just list it up and the price goes down. So I think the prices are going to continue to drop today, guys, because all we have to do right now is wait for the next promo team and maybe do an SBC or two, right? Saving the packs, blah, blah, blah. I think there's going to be more panic. I think there's going to be prices dropping again today on this game as the anticipation for the icons build, as the news spreads that this looks like a really good promo and the hype is building for icons that are finally hype again. So um, I could expect to see some prices dropping down today for sure. But again, like I mentioned, we're talking about these Path to Glory cards. They're the best ones. If you're going to watch the market and try to time something, these would be the cards to 100% watch and keep an eye on for a potential investment. Like you can see here, I bought some Path to Glories yesterday, Danny Olmo and Pedri. They got price range updates. I bought two Pedris for like 1.44, 1.45. And it was only because, um, how much do you right now? 1.62. Yo, I'm going to list this up. If I get a sale at 1.6, that's a great trade in a market that it feels very fragile at the moment, right? That'd be an absolutely insane trade, to be honest. But that was a card that I knew was really rare. Spain's been cooking. They've been playing good. He just got a fourth play style plus upgrade. And, um, you know, his card looks really solid. He's been extinct for a while too. So people want to use him. They wouldn't, haven't been able to buy him. Boom. Now they can since his price range got updated. So I know I'm being a little risky with a few of those trades and I might try to get out of those here pretty soon, but those would be the types of cards to watch in this sort of crashing market, even with the icons coming, just be careful. Now let's talk about today's content on Wednesday. It's not like we're going to get more leaks today, right? They got the whole team basically leaked so far, but there is some stuff coming today that we need to highlight because it's going to impact some prices in other places. And it might be some SBCs that you and I want to do. Let's go to the upgrade pack section and talk about the make your mark team one upgrade. I still haven't seen a new pack code added for a team two upgrade. So I'm assuming we're going to get one of those today, but honestly, who knows? Uh, last week it was pretty cheap. I think it was, yeah, it was one squad. It was like an 85 rated squad or an 86 rated squad. If I remember correctly for this. So that was pretty cheap. Probably one last day to see some of your fodder prices move up because not only is that SBC coming, but we have some refreshes, that 91 plus icon player pick, which was a hit on Sunday, right? That's refreshing today as well. I'm not going to do it again, but it's going to come back twice. So I think for your 87s and above, and again, maybe some of those 91s that we were looking at that were cheap, those could be going up today as well because it was that higher tier, right? That 90 rated squad inside of that SBC was making some of this stuff move. So that could move up a little bit today. Good time to sell that. Also, probably your team of the season cards and team of the week cards. Team of the week cards might hit, uh, take a little bit of a hit in price just because, uh, you know, that 81 plus team of the week is refreshing today. But the Tots cards for sure. What did I see on stream yesterday? 57K for Tots cards, 58K. They're maybe down just a smidge now. That's crazy, bro. It is still crazy. That these cards are so much 55 right now down a couple thousand. They might go up a couple thousand day with more demand and more people doing an SBC that requires those tots cards. Now we have the last couple things to talk about here that are very interesting and it's related to the weekend league objective and the player SBC, right? This is the list of players we've been looking at for the past couple of days and we've seen a lot of them dropped, right? Um, Sinistero was in this list. He dropped yesterday. Now I want to draw your attention to the Brazilian center back that is in this list today and kind of tie that together with the weekend league objective that we're expected to get today as well. Rui Patricio is added to come as a path to glory player. It's like, what, a path to glory player at this late stage? Like, come on, Portugal is playing their third game of the group stages today, right? They are. Now, we've had the champs objective every single week and it's given us a card every single week. I really don't think that Rui Patricio is the final reward like the Nuno Menj was for this last week of the Argentinian Weekend League. But I think according to the schedule and according to this leak, a lot of people are thinking that this week's champs objective is going to be requiring us to use Portuguese teams. And this is similar to the Pickford that was a part of the English Weekend League objective that gave the Enzo, the Argentinian card, right? See how the nations kind of overlap like that? So I think today, if we're going to guess... We're going to guess that it's going to be a Portuguese required weekend league, which actually, if you go take a look on the market, a lot of Portuguese cards are starting to go up already. Let me just pull up like um, Rafael Leao. Yesterday was his card. His Tots card was like 620K. And yeah, he's 700,000 coins. 
he is going up. This version of him is going up a little bit as well. Uh, Ruben Diaz, some of the price ranges here are very sus. Ruben Diaz is max price at 950,000 coins. I don't know why EA does this stuff with the price ranges, but they do. Portuguese cards are rising. And when I looked at the Portuguese card that I have in my club, like I don't really like the team that I have built up out of it. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing this objective, but... With Rui Patricio, I think being inside of one of the individual objectives, I think our group reward today is going to jump back to the uh, Kami Bowl guy. Since it was a, you know, it was a required us to play with Argentinian players, not Kami Bowl, sorry, Copa, right? We played with Copa America players, Argentinians, and we got a Euros reward that was Portugal. If we're going to have to play with Portuguese cards, there's a shout that our reward might be a Brazilian, and it might be this guy, Gabriel. That's just a guess. That's just a hot take. We don't know. Some people are saying that it was going to be an icon as the reward today, one of the greats of the game icons. That's possible. I don't know. We'll have to see. I think it might be a Brazilian today. My guess is it's Gabriel. We'll just have to see how good the card is if it's really going to be worth trying to sweat out and find some Portuguese defenders to make my Portuguese team look good. Probably not going to be worth it, but that's just something I want to prepare you guys with. And if you have Portuguese cards in your club uh, that are tradable, might be a decent time to sell those, of course, as we just mentioned with the prices going up on a lot of these cards. I can't believe that Rafael Leal Tots literally just went up like, wow, 689, 700K. He was 620 yesterday when we were looking at him on stream. So that is that situation there. And again, as we mentioned, we've got the Patricio. It's going to be coming in that, side, in that objective. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like the... The thing I'm really curious about today to see how it's going to move the market. I'm really curious about the Make Your Mark Guaranteed Team 2 pack. And other than that, it's just another day. The one last day of Euros games and Copa America games as well with the live items on the line. So we're going to be watching the prices, keeping an eye on these cards. And one more day until we see all these greats of the game icons loading into this game as well. In packs on Friday, there's a lot of hype for that. I'm getting more and more excited for Friday the closer that we get because icons have need some reviving in this game. I look at my team and I have two icons in there. They're both great to the game. I think a lot of people are going to end up having great to the game, either SBCs, objectives, or players from in packs in their squads after these guys get dropped into this game on Friday. So I'm excited for that. Looking forward to that. And we'll talk about it more today on stream, guys. That link's down below in the description if you want to check us out there. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Peace. Out.